Hi there. Um, I first started home brewing um, in the late 70s. Um, bought myself a lager kit and uh, started from there and I moved on to beer, bitters, stouts, ciders. Um, I used to make uh, real ale. Um, and since the last few years, uh, for one reason or another, I stopped. But I've now decided uh, to start making my own home brew again. And I just thought I'd show you, you know, a few bits and pieces of the basic equipment that you need to get you started. Um, if you're brewing uh, wine, then you use one of these things called a demijohn. Um, it's a cold a gallon. I also make scrumpy style cider in this as well. Um, if you're making a lot of wine, then you need one of these things, a uh, five gallon container. Now then, um, I don't make so much beer and wine now. What I make um, now is cider, or what I have been doing, you know, before I stopped uh, my little break from home brewing. <coughs> I make cider. And what I use is is that, Demi John's, um, and also these containers, um, the five gallon containers, and you can see these, um, you can fit an airlock on the top of them, which I think is essential, essential for cider. Um, not so much for beer, with beer you can, or you can get just the ordinary bin type, you know, with a flat lid, but I use these uh, for my cider. You know, with a, the airlock fitted on the lid there, or the cap. Um, it, it, you get a really good, fast start to your fermentation. And also you get a really quick fermentation as well. And also it makes sure, you know, that your um, cider, or if you've got, you know, if you're using them for beer, make sure, you know, it, it doubles that uh, the um, cider or your beer doesn't get contaminated. So that's the actual quick look at the containers. Now I'll just show you a few other bits and pieces that you'll need. Okay, um, just got a few other bits and pieces to show you that you'll need. Um, funnel, you can get you know various sizes of them. It's always handy to have a funnel. Um, and you will need some airlocks. If you're making cider or wine, they come in a variety of different uh, shapes and sizes but at the end of the day they all do the same job you know that's what they are is basically just an airlock prevents your um, bacteria getting at your, your your wine or your cider also what you need is some measuring spoons which come in handy for you know measuring out if you use use loose yeast or your um, cleaning solutions and things like that and yeast nutrients and that. And you'll need for your airlocks, you'll need some of these rubber bungs. They're bored, so you know, have got the hole, hole in them so you can put your airlock on them. Uh, also, uh, cleaning and sterilising um, mixture, which you'll, you'll need a lot of this stuff. I always have a good stock of this myself. Um, everything before you start uh, fermenting and brewing, all your equipment needs to be sterilised. Everything needs to be sterilised. Um, another thing you'll need is a bottle brush. Also cleans a demijohn as well. Um, and another thing you'll you'll want is a siphon, and you can see it's got the attachment at the bottom there, because when you uh, cider or your beer or your wine has finished fermenting at the bottom of the container there'll be a sediment of yeast the old bed yeast so that little thing at the bottom there enables you to put your this siphon right to the bottom of the container and siphon out you know the beer or the wine or whatever and it doesn't disturb the sediment of yeast so that's your siphon and then also another very important thing you'll need is a hydrometer. Um, 
you'll need that to work out the alcoholic strength of your uh, uh, brew. Um, you'll be able to check the OG, original gravity, and the FG, which is the final gravity or the finished gravity. And once you know them two, you'll be able to work out the actual alcoholic strength of your, your beer or your wine or cider or whatever. And also you'd be able to test when it is safe to bottle. Now then, if you don't know how to use a hydrometer, or you find it a bit confusing, I have on my playlist got a video which just solely demonstrates and explains how to use a hydrometer. And also, with a hydrometer, you use one of these things called a trial jar. Uh, you fill it so much with, you know, the alcohol li liquid. And then you put your hydrometer in and you, you, know, you can see it floating. A lot of people put the hydrometer straight into the demijohn or straight into the, you know, the container, you know, if you're, um, if you're using a, a bin for the beer. But it's best to use a trial jar because you can really get up close to it. You can see the level and you can see the readings. You know, you can get a really accurate reading with that. Also, what you'll need um, is a long handled spoon or a paddle, but I haven't got one um, with me today. Uh, and that's it basically, that's just the uh, basic uh, bits and pieces that you'll need to start your home brewing. Um, obviously you will need your know, ingredients like yeast and nutrients and things like that, but I'll explain about them in another video when I'll be actually making um, some scrumpy. And it is an initial outlay, you know, for all this equipment, but it'll be worth it because you, you do actually save a fortune against off license and supermarket prices. And once you've got the equipment, um, you know, it all be, can be used again, you know, so you soon get your money back. And also, obviously, when, you know, your, your brew is finished fermenting, you're going to need bottling equipment. Or barrels and I will explain and demonstrate them in in another video as well so that's it it's just the basics equipment you need to start your home brewing thanks for watching